Having explored Krakow and visited Auschwitz, the sun set on Poland as we boarded another train and made our way to Prague, Czech Republic. Upon arrival, we encountered some more ginormous escalators. One of the most interesting things about uh, the metro here in Europe is the crazy escalators. Look how big they are. And they move fast. Are you coming, champ? <laughs> and she's taking a photo. Bye, Mom. We are just, this just takes forever. How you doing? Wet. Yeah, we're wet because it's raining. I'm rocking this sweet plastic rain jacket thing. And we still have a while to go. It's now been 40 seconds. No one gets left behind. Still, still riding the escalator. In a minute, look how far we've come. And you basically have to prepare yourself to run off of these things because they move fast. Check how fast this is. Here we go. Whoa. Here she comes. Da -na 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 How was that? Awesome. Awesome, she says. That was awesome. Once outside, we headed to one of the main squares to take in our first glimpse of the city. It didn't take us long to spot the iconic clock tower, so we decided to head up and get a different view of the city. While my aunt and I took the elevator, my mom decided to be adventurous and take the stairs. Oh, there she is. It only took her an extra two weeks. Bienvenue, Madre. How was that? Gonna walk down? Sure. Okay. So are you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you, Prague. Even on a rainy day, Prague looked incredible. As it approached 12 o'clock, I noticed a crowd starting to form down below. They had come to see this hourly spectacle. Carrying on, we headed across this massive bridge, and from this bridge, we could see our next stop, the castle. But before we could get there, we had to stop and watch this guy for a little bit. Once at the castle, we were informed that we weren't allowed to take any photos, except when we were in the adjoining cathedral, which thankfully was equally as spectacular.
Lucky for us, we left at the perfect time and got to watch the changing of the guards. We enjoyed a beautiful walk through the streets of Prague as we made our way back to our hotel and finished off the evening at a little concert of Broadway classics. Later that night, I bid farewell to my mom and aunt as they headed back to Canada, and our fantastic 16-day, seven-city adventure came to an end. Thanks for all the laughs, girls. It was an absolute riot. To wrap up Prague, I grabbed a drink with two fellow travel bloggers who happened to be in the city at the exact same time, Ryan and Liz from PauseTheMoment.com. It was great to finally meet you. Next time on Backpack with Brock. It's goodbye Prague and hello Berlin. <laughs> Thank you.